Shannon, most of what we were hearing in those questions of the potential jurors was, what have you put on Facebook? What have you put on Twitter? What have you Instagrammed? And a lot of times people were saying, oh, I don't do that. I haven't tweeted. I haven't Facebooked. And the look on the face of the attorneys every time was like, really? And it turns out they're actually questioning those potential jurors behind the scenes. Now to us, those jurors are anonymous. They're only referred to by their juror number. We never see a camera shot of them. Actually, when they come out of the courthouse, they're escorted by bailiffs. You're definitely not taking any pictures of them. But it turns out when they're in that jury box, people in the courthouse are finding out all about them jurors when they they need to look out because as a jury consultant we have people behind the scenes that are checking up on everything that you're doing so when you say that I've not been on Facebook trust me that the, someone is going to find out whether you are or whether you're not and one juror in particular definitely got dinged for this. He had said he hadn't been on Facebook, hadn't looked at any of the news. Turns out he was actually in a group supporting Trayvon Martin's family and had made some disparaging statements about George Zimmerman online. Well, those attorneys found him and he got booted from the jury. So they're definitely keeping a very close eye on this. Jury selection has wrapped up today, but it continues tomorrow and it could still be a while before they seat those six jurors and four alternates. Reporting live, Caitlin Ross, First Coast News. Caitlin, thank you.